Welcome back to Headlines. It is Wednesday, October 23rd. I'm Wes Austin, and these are today's top stories. In talking about Trump, President Biden said that we gotta lock him up. Bill Gates secretly donated to a pro Kamala Harris group. The British are coming to help Kamala Harris campaign and Facebook's oversight board reinstates a nipple pinching post mocking Kamala Harris. President Biden said that former President Trump should be locked up. Here's President Biden in New Hampshire talking about President Trump. We gotta lock him up. <laughs> Biden's mind is working just enough to realize that he said the quiet part out loud. We gotta lock him up. Did I just say that out loud? Politically lock him up. What's next? Therapeutically lock him up? Or maybe poetically lock him up? Oh, we just want to write a haiku about him. The Democrats just want to politically lock Trump up. They want to throw on some imaginary handcuffs and send him to a metaphorical prison. Bill Gates secretly donated $50 million to a group that supports Kamala Harris, though he has not publicly endorsed her, according to a New York Times report. Gates intended that his donation be kept private. Gates has a lot of experience with the blue screen of death, so Kamala's campaign should feel familiar. Gates said that he supports candidates who demonstrate a clear commitment to improving health care and fighting climate change. So the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation investing $1.75 billion into COVID-19 vaccines, does that go with improving health care or fighting climate change? Bill Gates is worried about family planning cuts if Trump wins, which is kind of funny because it's Kamala Harris's campaign that seems to need its own plan B right about now. Meta's oversight board had to step in and explain Facebook's own rules to them. It's like when your GPS has to tell you, no, seriously, this is your house. The board overruled the company's decision to censor a Facebook meme mocking Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. The meme was an edited version of the Dumb and Dumber movie poster with the faces of Harris and Walls put in place of the actors, making it appear as though Harris and Walls were pinching one another's nipples. I'm pretty sure that this meme is the one that they were talking about. They didn't include it in the article, but I think I found it. And just a warning, if you do searching on Harris and Walls and Nipples, you're gonna see some stuff that you wish you hadn't. Facebook removed the post under its rules against derogatory sexualized Photoshop or drawings, or it was removed under its rule that all Facebook censors are Democrats. But the Meta Oversight Board had the post reinstated and said this in their ruling. The board highlights the over-enforcement of Meta's bullying and harassment policy with respect to satire and political speech in the form of a non-sexualized derogatory depiction of political figures. It also points to the dangers that over-enforcing the bullying and harassment policy can have, especially in the context of an election, as it may lead to the excessive removal of political speech and undermine the ability to criticize government officials and political candidates. The oversight board basically said, it's a meme, Karen, not an OnlyFans post. So Facebook initially took down the meme because they thought it was too sexual. Newsflash, if you saw that meme and thought sexual, you're a lesbian. Former President Trump's campaign has filed a complaint with the Federal Election Commission for foreign election interference after volunteers from the UK's Labour Party traveled to the US to help campaign for Kamala Harris. Kamala's recruitment ad read, Wanted, election campaigners, must have experience in losing elections abroad. British accent preferred. The complaint cited a now-deleted LinkedIn post from the head of operations at Britain's Labour Party, who wrote that almost 100 Labour Party staff would be traveling to the US to help elect Vice President Harris. So Kamala's recruiting the UK's Labour Party for her campaign. I guess when your own staff quits faster than you can hire people, it's time to look overseas. But hey, look on the bright side. Out of the millions of people that Kamala has brought into the country to try to help her win, at least a hundred of them are here legally. Thanks for watching Headlines. I'm Wes Austin. Good night.